Hey, howdy everyone. Welcome back to Random Things. I am James and I am excited as shit right now because I found something at work that is both Zuru Toys, knockoff Legos, and dinosaur themed. All shit that works into my channel. And I'm so excited to get it. And guess what? This shit was actually pretty cheap and I got it at a Walmart. I got Zuru Max Dinosaur Adventure. I think I've seen Dinosaur Force. Um I have seen these eggs from Zuru. They're like these, like, you know, they're gotcha. They got like a big egg thing with something sticking out of it. And there's pirate ones. And there's other ones. Big, these big egg things. They're always kind of expensive. And I think the dinosaurs in them are kind of they're very stylized. Let's put it that way. Not to my taking. Mostly the price. I found these. Look at this big one. And big box set here. Very similar to the Lego things. Um, only thing difference is is the price. This big one was only twenty bucks for like five hundred and something pieces. The closest thing I could find to it is the um, look. It's got two dinosaurs, a motorcycle, a helicopter, and a jeep. The closest thing I could find to it that had both a raptor and a um, um, a T Rex in it is the visitor center, which is like a hundred and something bucks. This one right here, this big egg with like this blank. Big Jeep and T-Rex, 15 And this egg right here, this was only 7 bucks. It's almost as big as my freaking head. Um, and that's just cool. I couldn't pass them up. Um, I looked in the inventory of my work. I think only like two of each of these came in. I was able to get them after work. And I'm so excited. And um, well, let's open them up and, you know, compare them to the random desk. Okay, so let's just open this small one real quick on camera and see what we got. Kind of a, kind of go over it a little bit. Get the camera angle a little better. What we got in here. Um, first off, it comes in a really big egg. Um, with this piece that comes out. I really hope this comes off. It can be actually used. It's got a couple studs up here for putting stuff on. I guess to show that these are um, says they're Lego compatible with other brands. Pretty bright packaging see here we got shows a, a raptor the jeep uh no signs of figures which is weird because i know that zuru had its own um like band of figures um here we got the little tab here you can pull yeesh i don't know why those things See here, it's got the little crack. Ooh, falls off pretty easily. Ah, yeah, look. The little tab in there. And, yeah, there. It can come out. Uh, I don't know why. There's got no stud holes on the bottom, so. Um, I guess it looks cool. I mean,. The mosquito and amber or anything that's knocking off. We got here's the raptor. Got one, two, three, four bags. Some instructions. Uh, do I have stickers? I am not seeing stickers. It looks like they're supposed to be stickers. Oh, there they are. Oh, we got these clear stickers. That's cool. Dino Force. And the thing on it says Dino Adventure. With the instructions, we got full color instructions. Very similar. What you expect from pretty standard these very Lego-y. Up here got you what piece each needs. Pretty standard stuff. I mean I've seen worse with some of these cheaper stuff but so far it looks good. Now I'm gonna take this off camera and put it together and then I will be back with you guys later. I'm probably gonna put the other two together off camera and then I'll give you my thoughts on them at the end. See you guys in a bit. Okay so first up starting with the smallest one. This is the Raptor attack set. It is 200 38 pieces 
and it um, retailed for at least when I got it was about seven bucks. Let's see what all it comes with. First up, let's look at the dinosaur, the um, their version of the raptor. So here's the raptor for it, and in green, um, I have a comparison of the official or Lego one right there next to it. As you guys can see, it is not a direct copy of the same mold. It's actually a different, unique mold. Um, only things that move on this model are the arms and the mouth opens and closes. You can see it has only two studs on its back um, and compared to the four studs. It does make putting figures on it a little weird. Um, all in all, I think it looks cooler, personally. I like the little, um, like, fin, I guess you would say, on the back of its neck. Very cool, very sleek. I love its pose. Um, and those its back legs, they're not just stationary. One's actually back and bent slightly. Um, make it look like it's starting to move, and I like the way the arms are. Very, very cool. Up next, we've got the, I guess, Jeep type thing. I think this thing is pretty damn cool looking. Very Jurassic Park colors. The um, wheels move on it really well. The um, both doors and the back hatch also opens. Um, the top can be removed um, so that you can put stuff both in the bed if it's two figures. Um, I personally love a lot of the details on it, like the jerry cans on the side of it, the um, roof rack with um, like boxes on it. I have no clue what the little missile things on the side are for. All the figures seem to have that, but there's no missile launching factors, functions for it. There's a cool um, little side mirrors move. All in all, a really solid, solid vehicle. Um, only had some issues with some stuff where the coloring and the instructions look weird, and I had to switch out some pieces except for the wrong colored pieces. All in all, solid build. Then we have this really cool, huge-ass amber piece um it's on the i think the draw you in very jurassic parkish it kind of is lame um the piece of studs on the front of it do work but there's no studs on the bottom really no way to attach it to anything i don't know why it's really even included it, it, just weird to me and as a bonus here's the big pile of extra pieces very generous not just the amount you get but the different versions of it or pieces you get because there's some pieces that aren't even used in the model here very cool and i think i built a saddle or something out of it for the raptor that is always always appreciated in these sets now moving on to the next set next up we have the t-rex attack that comes in with slightly more pieces at 284 pieces and retail for about about 15 bucks um let's see all what it comes with once again, we'll start with the dinosaur first. This set comes with a T-Rex that is in an awesome, awesome orange. Um, once again, I have it compared against the Jurassic, or the Lego official one. You see, once again, it is slightly smaller. Um, very similar, but um, the head's a lot different. It's got ridges over its eyes. It's, um, <clears throat> I think it's face is a little bit more I don't know, puggish, a little bit shorter, but wider snout. Um, the neck, the jaw, um, both arms, and the legs, and the tail can also um, also move, very similar to the official one. Um, I do like how its legs are actually not just mirrors of each other. One's actually back, one's forward. Much cooler, I think, with the, um, the pose of it. Also, it's orange, and I love orange. And for the vehicle that this one comes with, this one is kind of like a big rig type thing. Um, it looks pretty cool. Got those big old monster truck tires. Uh, it does have some movable parts, like the wheels move, obviously. The doors open up. The roof comes off so you can put a single figure in the cab. The um, trailer, um, the back door of the trailer does open up. You can put stuff in there. Um, it's got like a hitch, as you can see, so it can actually stand up when it's not being used. Um, very cool. But it doesn't feel like this one was as structurally put together as the other one did. Um, for instance, the top of the smokestack comes off. It's not really on there. It's kind of just sitting on there. And when you attach the trailer, even though it's on a like Technic peg, it doesn't actually clip into the back of the, um, the actual truck. So it kind of just sits there and it comes apart so easily. This one looks awesome. The 
actual like trailer part is made of some very unique pieces. Definitely not Lego ones, I believe. Looks awesome, but uh, but for the price, a pretty awesome vehicle. Since this one came in an egg, it also came with an amber piece. Now, lastly, I'm gonna have to kind of guess on this one since there's no figures, there's no real story to what a lot of this stuff is. <clears throat> I do believe for some other Zuber products, the way the like the bottom part is, that's meant to be like tank tread. So is this like a mobile satellite dish for tracking dinosaurs for communicating i'm not really sure what it is um it does can be folded a little bit and does fit in the back of the um the trailer but past that i am not sure i'm gonna say it's some kind of communication device or tracking thing but that is just a guess on my part and lastly we are now to the big one this is the Dino Hunt set. Comes at a 552 pieces, and I got it for about 20 bucks. Now to note, this is the only one that didn't come in like a um, like an egg. I guess there's too many pieces to fit in an egg. As you can see, this is actually the biggest, I guess, granddaddy of all the sets. Now let's see what individual things we got. So the dinosaurs in this one, they are a T-Rex and a Raptor. Um, the same as the other two sets. Um, just the T-Rex is in a red. And the Raptor is in blue. Which I admit, I love the blue Raptor. I think it's my favorite figure or part of all these sets. Other than that, they are identical molds. Just in different colors. Which sucks we didn't get different dinosaurs. But at least we got different colors. On to the first figure you get with the set. Because there's three. And I didn't realize this until I was putting them together. But this is exactly the same one that came in the Raptor Attack set. Except for this one is in a um, desert tan. Other than that, the exact same build. Um, a little disappointing, but I will admit, I do love it in this color much more than the green. Just a shame we didn't get even some kind of small variant. It is exactly the same. Nothing different cargo, nothing based, really is just the same. Same features, things open, closed, put together the exact same. Not much else to say about it. Although I do think it looks cooler, but a bit of a shame that we didn't get something different. Then we got this little motorcycle piece. Um, I mean, it's cool, I guess. The little motorcycle. Um, it does fit a Lego figure. I did, by the way, get a Lego f actual, like, legit minifigure out. And um, everything does mostly fit into it. There's only one, which I'll get into later. Um, but yeah, this fits a more that fits an actual person standing up on it. I mean, it's cool. It's okay. It's cool. Not much to say about it. Now for the big, I guess, defining piece of this. This is this big ass helicopter. First off, the helicopter looks really cool, and it is actually pretty damn big. So big, in fact, that it can't actually sit up straight on its own. Yeah, this thing is so back heavy that this is literally how it sits. Very unbalanced. Really, really disappointing. Um, had high hopes for this um, because it's got some cool play features on it, like the propeller spin. Um, it is absolutely massive. Um, it does actually have the thing on the side where um, a crane comes out, pulls out, and you can roll it, but it is in a really weird position, which is kind of hard to get in and out. Um, the cockpit on this one actually does come off so you can put a figure in it, but it does not use a um, seat part that is, um, I guess, Lego adjacent because a Lego minifigure does not sit in it very well, uh, making it kind of disappointing. This thing looks awesome, but unless you have it in your hand, you're playing with it. Man, it's, it's a bit of a letdown. I even tried stacking some bricks on the front of it to kind of like rebalance it, and with all the extra pieces, which one did come with a lot of extra pieces, I just could not get it to balance. For 20 bucks, you do get a lot of stuff. But man, did they miss a the mark on this. Now this one did come with a few cool little accessories. Like this tree. Which when I saw it on the box, I thought it was just like a picture of part of the background. And so I saw the back of the box, and then I saw a picture of this online. I'm like, wow, that tree is actually a piece. Um, it actually is a couple of pieces, so you got to build it. So I guess it's a 
brick built, but a little weird. It's probably the biggest piece in here, even though I do think it's a pretty solid, cool little tree. <clears throat> then it came with another one of these, like, mobile drone satellite dish things. That I'm not sure what they actually are. Um, unlike the other one, this one doesn't really fit into the back of anything. So I don't know what's that about. And weirdly enough, it came with this thing. Um, with no minifigures, so there's nothing interacting with anything. It makes it very, very weird to know what it is. But I did notice this thing. It This thing seems to be the perfect size and shape for displaying the amber piece. I'm assuming that's what it's for. Weird thing though is this is the only of two, only one of the three sets that does not come with an amber piece. So I guess you have to buy one of the other ones to get the amber piece, which is something I have feelings about, and I will get to that in a second. So what are my final thoughts on this little collection? Well, first off, we start with some of the pros. The best one is gonna be price. These things are actually pretty good quality, and for about, you get a whole set for under 45 bucks. That's a lot of stuff you get. You're not going to get this many pieces, unique pieces like the dinosaurs for that price with Lego. Maybe not even Mega. Um, that really is like the best thing I say about them. They are much more budget-friendly Legos, and you do get a lot for them. Um, another big pro is I think the dinosaurs are unique. They're not exact copies. So these could complement your existing Lego Jurassic Park sets already as they're not just carbon copies they can be variants they could be subspecies um, you could technically mix match some of the pieces I think that to me is a big bonus um, third that you get a lot of vehicles with these um, now granted I'll get into some, some pros with it some of them are the same some of them aren't too too great but you do get a kind of variety of them um, and if you're a kid I don't think you're gonna be carrying too much those are the big things price quality was good um some unique pieces but with that said the cons um there is a lot of doubles these three sets you get four dinosaurs and only two of two different types i really wish they would have done a, i could have awesome to have seen a unique trike mold or a dillo mold or something um so that kind of sucks they look awesome but they're two of the same and it goes with the jeeps i know they're two different colors but there's no variations give a winch on one or an arm or some different cargo or something to make them slightly slightly different you no know, they're the exact piece for piece the same and then the um all the quality issues i said with the helicopter that that really blows i i have had lego helicopter sets similar to this and did not have those issues i don't know what you can do about it maybe move the propeller or something i'm not sure but as someone who would collect these and put them on a shelf that really really blows um that is really kind of the big issues um now something weird i mentioned this too is the amber piece how the big set it didn't come in an egg which doesn't come in an amber piece has a piece that's i would assume meant for displaying it so i guess you have to buy one of those to get one of the eggs to get it but you know you're just gonna get double the pieces the cheapest one is the um the raptor attack but then you end up with just two jeeps and two raptors just to get the piece that that that, that kind of sucks but with those balanced against each other the pros and the cons do i recommend these sets hell yeah i do um a lot of the con stuff i really do think they are minor um if you're a kid playing with these you're not really probably going to notice that kind of shit if you're a collector the dinosaurs i think are really awesome looking would look great in any kind of collection i'm pretty sure any experienced mock builder or whatnot master builder or whatever could probably fix some of these issues especially with the helicopter um 
I didn't mention it, I forgot to mention this with the second and third sets, but there's a ton of extra pieces that came with it. Um, I was able to build like a freaking cannon for the Blue Raptor with all the extra pieces, it's cool. Um, but all in all, I think the pros outweigh the cons on these. I, I think you can get these on Amazon. I found these at my local Walmart, um, but I only found two of each, so I don't know if they're gonna restock them. When I checked the app, it said they were out of stock. I haven't seen them anywhere else. Um, I think you can get these on Amazon on the Walmart site. Um, I would recommend these. I think for the price, for what all you're getting, these are fun sets. And I look forward to seeing what else Zuru has um, with this Max line. I really hope they make more. I would love to see their take on some of the other dinosaur models. But all in all said, guys, that's going to be it for today's review. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out today. Um, I'm really excited for this. I wasn't expecting to make this video, but I'm happy I did. Um, so I will hopefully catch you guys in the next one. Um, don't forget to try something random today. And I'll see you guys later. Peace, y'all.